just uh, T- Tariq Jack Del Rio got himself fined and in a in a bunch of hot water for some things that he said, uh, calling the January sixth insurrection a dust up, and then mm-hmm. saying that the Black Lives Matter protests over the the, the previous summer were worse. Uh, you got you, to play your. It, it involves so many moving parts. Yep. You know, there's a lot of First Amendment stuff out there, and people saying he's got the right to say whatever he wants and stuff. You got to know your audience, don't you? Uh, you got to know your audience. You got to know who you're working for, who you're working with, and all the other different things that are going on. But he has a right to his opinion, whether I agree or disagree with it. But what's interesting about this whole situation is he apologized for the comments. Then afterwards was One of these also perfunctory apologies. I get it, but but the, but the, it's it's what's happened afterwards. He apologized for the comments. Doesn't move on. He gets fined for it. Then Ron Rivera, the head coach, says something about it. Then he deletes his Twitter, which leads me back to why does Jack Del Rio need a Twitter? I mean, if, of all the things that happen, usually careers explode with comments that are made or things that are said that are, quote unquote, may have been taken out of content. That being said, I think Jack Del Rio will hopefully learn from this. I don't even know why. Well, what he believes is what he believes. I can't control what he believes. All I can tell you is, is that It'll be very interesting in minicamp. It'll be very interesting how long this story sticks around with Washington after this. There are two things that stand out to me in this story. Uh, first off, why did this come up in a press conference in minicamp? How did you get to a uh, point? Believe whatever you want to believe. You didn't think, as a guy who's been a coach in the NFL for three, four decades, that that was going to be a problem. When there's literally, like, forget what he said. There's literally nothing else going on in the NFL right now with your team. You're in shorts throwing balls around, and you're going to take grenade. Oh, there you go. Good luck, Rod Rivera. And ne- next to this story is the Sean Watson story, which you want nothing to be a part of. You, you're side by side leading ESPN with Sean Watson. Yeah, Sean Watson's going, thank you, Mr. Del Rio, yeah. which is insane. <laughs> Second thing, you brought up, you know, the First Amendment issue, which I've seen a ton online. Does nobody understand how the First Amendment works in this country? Because Jack Del Rio is not in jail for what he said. No, nope. Jack Del Rio didn't lose his job for nope. what he said. Nope. Nope. Jack Del Rio was fined hundred thousand dollars. By the way, if Jack Del Rio lost his job, that's not a First Amendment violation. Like, how does nobody understand? <laughs> Colin Kaepernick agree with what he did or not? He's not in jail for what happened, nope. right? Like, you, everybody has the ability to say what they want to say, and everybody has done and said what they want to say. Nobody's behind bars, and your employer has the right to reject it. Hundred percent. And if you don't like the way your employer reacted to that, quit where you're working, right? Like, let's just stop with this insanity. You said what you said in the place that you said. You had to think whatever way you're falling on whatever's going on, there are going to be consequences either from your employer or from the people that follow your franchise. It's, I thought it's, we, it's where he says, I don't really want to get into it. So yep. Is it an industry where it's 90% or so African-American? Mm-hmm. That's your that's your audience. I heard it said that it's kind of disappointing that it was Jack, not Jack, that it was uh, Rivera who Robert. stepped forward mm-hmm. and ob- objected and says, that should have come from some of the players. And plus the fact, but what is Del Rio doing in this profession anyway, if this is the way he thinks about the people that he works with? Well, it's it's very interesting in the sense of, of what Rivera had to do. Rivera is the leader of that team. So I think he did have to take some sort of stance on that. The players maybe not around, but but that is another good point. You would have thought the players would have said something, but maybe they were like, okay, let's see how the organization handles this with all the other bonfires they have going on on the outside going forward. I just think it's, it's, it's interesting to hear what people still believe, even though Though they might be surrounded by individuals that really were affected by what was going on with Black Lives Matter. And I don't think any of those those protests took place in the Capitol building uh, involving police being killed yeah, and all the other things yeah. going along with it. Look, I mean, there's a lot of moving parts here. You ask why no players say anything. I mean, look, that guy's their boss in all reality, right? Ron Rivera is the CEO. He's the assistant to the CEO. And maybe you don't feel comfortable saying like that. Maybe you also see the reaction from both sides, what Del Rio says. If you now come out and say something, now you've made yourself a target. Now you've got that stuff to deal with. Look, the other thing about it too, and with what's happened over the last month with the shootings and all the political and social stuff, I know people look to athletes to be their moral compass, right? And speak on social issues. And there have been amazing things that have happened in this country when folks do that. But that's what politicians are for. That's what Supreme Court justices are for. It is not the responsibility, if you want to do it fine, of someone that plays a game for a living to tell people what they should be feeling and where they should be going and how they feel on a topic. And if they don't feel comfortable with it, you would have to understand why. I would also say this, we keep telling people, keep sports and politics away from each other. They, everybody said, tell LeBron James to shut up and dribble. Well then, how come nobody's saying to Jack Del Rio, shut up and coach? 
You know what I mean? It's the same sort of thing. Yes, no, yeah, no hypocrisy, right? Like, if you're going to criticize LeBron, Kaepernick, all those guys, that's fine. You have a right to. Say the same thing to Del Rio when these things come out of his mouth. It's yeah. the exact same thing. It's to your point about, you know, you don't expect it. It, it applies for assistant coaches, too. And I also wonder why you don't apply the Bill Belichick rule. He doesn't let his coaches talk. Yeah. They don't talk. It says, you don't say anything to anybody about anything.